Coach Libby here. I'm going to take you through a fun preschool warm-up and stretch. So this is geared towards preschool, but if you've got older siblings or grown-ups in the house, you can invite them over to have fun with us too. We're all going to have a good time together. Are you ready? All right, we got to start by warming up our bodies. So we're going to do some jumps. So arms up tall, and we're going to do 10 really big straight jumps. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice job. Now hands on your hips. We're going to do some open close jumping toes. Nice work. Now, can you open close in front and switch? Oh, that one's kind of tricky. Good job, friends. All right, here's another tricky one. Start on one foot and you hop on one foot, but land on two feet. And then hop on one foot, land on two. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's hot scotch. You guys are doing awesome. One, two, one. Okay, now we've got to do something new. We're going to start with our arms up. Reach down and put your hands down by your toes. And we're going to walk our hands forward as far as we can and say, hello. And then walk our hands back and stand up and say, what's up? Let's do it again. Walk your hands forward. Say, hello. Walk your hands back. Say, hi. We're going to do two more. Are you guys ready? Hands forward. Hello. Hands back. Hi. One more. Walk your hands forward. Hello. And walk your hands back. Hello. All right. Last thing we're going to do in our warm up. This one's kind of tricky. We're going to make a push up shape and then we're going to flip it over and make a crab. So watch. Walk your hands out. And then we're going to tip it over and make it into a crab. And turn it around. Just like that. All right, are you warmed up? Yeah? Are you ready to start our stretch? Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with our pike legs on our pointed toes. My toes popped up, did yours? Let's try to blow them over. There they go. They popped up again. Did yours do that too? Let's try again. this problem guys yeah I think you guys are onto something we're gonna blow them over and then we're gonna use our hands to hold them down are you ready here we go and then hold them down and right, let's count to five one two three four five they're staying down now good job you guys that was a really good idea well now that our toes are pointed we can start making a rainbow because rainbows make everybody happy. They totally make you smile. And I think we could use some more smiles today. So reach up really high and grab a cloud. And then take your cloud and put it on one of your toes. Good job, reach up really high. Grab another cloud and put that one on your other toe. All right, now we have our clouds. We gotta put one side over here and one side over here into our straddle. And now we're gonna add the color. So I'm gonna let you guys pick your own colors, but I'm gonna tell you what colors I'm picking, just so you know. We're gonna start with some red and some orange. So make sure you have some red paint and some orange paint. We're gonna start over here and paint your big red stripe over this side, and then paint your big orange stripe back on this side. Reach out in the middle and grab two more colors. I'm gonna get yellow and green. Reach out, grab some yellow. Grab some green or whatever colors you're getting and start on this side. Paint one stripe. Paint your other stripe. All right, we're going to do our last two colors. I think I'm going to do blue and purple. What about you? Those smell like good choices. Let's reach out and grab our blue and our purple. And we're going to start over here and paint our last two colors all the way over. There we go. We made it. Our rainbow is painted. Now we have to put it where it lives. Now where does the rainbow live? Does it live in the ocean? No. Does it live in the lake? No. Does it live on the roof? Maybe. Where's it? What? What'd you say? The sky? The rainbow lives in the sky? You guys 
are so smart. You're right. We ought to put this rainbow up in the sky. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. We ought to open up our window and we got to kick it up to the sky. One, two, three, kick it up. Up into the sky. Did it make it? No? We need to kick it higher? Okay, let's try again. Ready? Open up your window. One, two, three, kick it up. <gasps> Did it make it that time? Oh, good. Now, we put our rainbow up in the sky. Should we go visit it? Yeah? Okay, make your butterfly and flap your butterfly wings. And to get to our rainbow, we have to fly out the window. So fly around all the furniture in your house and flap your wings and go through your window. Good job. And let's flap, flap, flap. Okay, we made it to the rainbow, but now we have to go up, 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 up to the very top. Stop at the top and look. What can you see from the top of your rainbow? Lots of trees, okay. Other rainbows, other butterflies, other butterfly friends from OGA say hi. What? You see a dragon coming for us? Oh my goodness! Let's slide down the rainbow and go back inside where it's safe. Ready? Go! Slide down! And then flap your wings. Oh, we made it! Put your brakes on, say urge! Oh, we made it. We escaped from the dragon. All right, my friends. We made our rainbow. We put it in the sky. We visited our rainbow. Now we gotta clean up so that we can do the rest of our gymnastics. So let's start with our toes. Can you pick up your toe? Say hello, toes. And say, oh, goodbye, stinky, dirty toes. Now let's put it in the water and wash it. Now I hope that you all remember the wash it song. Do you? Okay, let's go. Do, 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 Goes my clean foot. You're right, because we just washed it. It's not a stinky foot anymore, huh? We have one more foot to do. Say hello, toes. Say goodbye, stinky toes. And let's wash out this one. Ready? Do 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 Pop goes my clean foot. You guys are so smart. All right, let's put our legs on this side. Let's reach out in the middle and grab our rag and get it in our soapy water and start with on this side. We have to wash our leg all the way down and all the way down and then put it on this side and wash our leg all the way down. Good job. And then put our rag back in the middle. All right, our legs are clean. Let's lift them up and dry them up and say hello toes and say goodbye toes and sit up on our knees. Good job. So we cleaned our feet, we cleaned our legs. Now we have to clean all that paint off of our hands. So take your hands like this and scoop them into your soapy water. And go like this and scrub, scrub, scrub them clean. Scrub, scrub, scrub. You guys having fun? Yeah, me too. This is kind of my favorite thing, but don't tell anybody. And shake those hands out. Shake, 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 shake. Good job. Put your hands up. We're gonna flip them over and dry them off like this. Dry them off. Boop, booty, booty. Good job. Nice. All right, our bodies are all clean now. So let's go up and say hi to our rainbow one more time. So we're gonna do some blast off jumps. And when we get to the top, we're gonna wave hi to our rainbow. We're gonna do three of them. And on the last one, I want you to show me your big sick finish. So start up like this. Get ready to blast off, ready? Three, two, one, blast off. Say hello and back down. Okay, let's try it again. Three, two, one, blast off. Hello and back down. And this one we say hello and then do our stick finish. Ready? Three, two, one, blast off. Hello, stick. Finish. Good job, my friends. Hi guys, Coach Libby, ready for some more. Now we're gonna work on some balancing drills. But for this, you're gonna need some props. So let me tell you what you need and then you can pause and go find what you need in your house, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna need is a scarf. I have this super nifty orange one. If you don't have a scarf like this, you have other things in your house that you can use instead, like a small washcloth or a kitchen towel or a tissue, as long as it's a clean one. And do not use that toilet paper. That stuff's in high demand right now. Other than your scarf, you're gonna need about four small stuffed animals like these guys. You can also use some small pillows, 
or anything else that you can step over like it's on a balance beam. I would not recommend any Legos. Those hurt if you land on them wrong. All right, go ahead and hit pause and then come on back and we'll get to work. All right, now that you guys have all your props, we're gonna start with some fun balancing stuff with our scarf. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just warm up. So we're just gonna practice throwing it and catching it and throwing it and catching it. You can try throwing with one hand and catching with the other hand or throwing with one hand and catching with the same hand. One of them's gonna be a little bit easier than the other. See what your body can do, okay? And then you can try catching with different parts of your body. So instead of your hand, see if you can catch your scarf on your elbow. Ooh. Or what about, can you catch it on your foot? Nice. Can you do it on the other foot? Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that one was tricky. So that's a lot of fun that you can have with this. Right now I'm gonna show you the next thing you can do with it, but you can always come back later and play some more. After you tried catching it with two feet on the ground, I want to see if you can catch it while standing in your passe shape, your flamingo shape. Ooh, ready? So try to stand like this and throw it and catch it. Whoa. And throw it and catch it. Maybe try to throw it and catch it on your head. Whoa. But don't come out of your passe. That's the tricky part. Try it with one foot in passe and try it with your other foot in passe. So you get both sides of your body and your brain working, okay? So that's another idea for you. And again, you can come back and try it later, but I'm gonna show you the next thing. And then I wanna see if you can balance in your arabesques. So remember, our back leg is straight behind us and our front leg can be bent just a little bit to help us balance. So stay up in your arabesque, whoo, and try to catch and throw. Catch it on your, whoop, on your nose maybe. Whoop, that one's really tricky. How about your elbow again? Or your wrist, whoo, there we go. And remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to try on the other side too. So keep that other foot up and try some more. All right, last thing that we're, last couple of things we're gonna do, try it in your bean feet. Don't let your feet feed. Remember to squeeze your legs together. Whoa, like you're balancing on a beam. Throw it and catch it. Throw it and catch it. And then if you really wanna be tricky, keep your bean feet but make them releve bean feet, whoa, and try to catch, whoa, whoa, that one's really tricky. Okay, we're gonna hold this scarf up super high now, like this, and we're gonna try some turns. So this is for bumblebees and caterpillars. You guys are working on this in your class when you go to balance bean. And for the other levels, it's a super fun challenge. See if you can do it. So we're gonna start like this with our arms up tall, Holding our scarf up, we're gonna push up onto our tippy toes. We're gonna keep our feet where they are, and we're gonna turn and face whatever's behind us. Whoa, whoa. And we're gonna turn and face back. Whoa. I think I went a little too fast. I was tipping over. Let me try it again. Up, whoa. Up, squeeze tight. Turn, whoa. And turn back. There we go. And remember, if you try it with one foot in front, you gotta try it with the other foot in front too. And back. Good job. All right, so that's a lot of fun things that you can do with a scarf or a tissue or a washcloth or anything that'll fly through the air that you can catch. Um, so you can always come back and try some of those later. What else can you do to balance with it? Think about that. Take a video of you doing some fun things, balancing drills with your scarves and send it to us. We'd love to see what you guys are doing at home too. Okay, we're done with our scarf. So now we're gonna move over here to our animals. And I set my animals up on the line so it looks like a balance beam. You don't have to have a line, you can just set them up on the floor. But make sure that they're in a straight line, even if they're not on the line, okay? You guys ready? Okay, we're gonna practice just walking. We have our beam hands out like this, and we're gonna walk, and we're gonna just take little steps over as we get to the animals, just like that. Make sense? All right, I'm gonna go back to the beginning and show you the next one. After you try just regular walking, you're gonna try your tippy toes. Try to keep those legs super straight as you walk across the beam. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. All right, next one. This one's a little tricky. I'm gonna try to go sideways. Sideways. Ooh. And then go back. So 
so you get both sideways legs working. Because sometimes going sideways with one foot going first is easier than the other side. And we want to work both sides of our bodies and both sides of our brains all the time. All right, now we're going to try one that is a little bit harder. We're still going to have our bean hands out. We're going to try our big passe holds as we step over. Our big flamingo walks all the way over. Each of them. Ooh. Okay, and I only have four, but maybe you have 25 animals that you could put. So you can do a lot more practicing than I am right now. Okay. Um, next, we're going to do... Oh, this one's really fun. We're going to do jumping. So you can start with your feet side by side like this, or you can start with your bean feet and try to keep your feet in your bean feet as you go. I'm going to show you bean feet, but remember, you can try feet together if you want as well. Hands are going to be on our hips. We're going to bend our knees and jump. And fix our bean feet and bend our knees and jump. Fix our bean feet. Bend. Jump. One more. Bend. Jump. All right, a couple more ideas for you, friends. Just a couple more. This time when you jump, see if you can jump with two feet, but land on one foot. Remember that arabesque we practiced earlier? We're gonna try and land in that shape. So ready? We're gonna jump, land. Good job, ready, try again. Jump, land. Ooh, nice one. Now remember, try to land on one foot and the other foot. Jump, land. One more. Jump, land, woo. Good job. All right. Last two for you today. This time we're gonna walk to an animal. We're gonna give the animal a high five. So we're gonna squat down and say, high five, Mr. Animal. And then step over and walk to your next animal. Squat down, high five, Mr. Piggy. Walk to the next one. High five, Mr. Turtle. And then finally, high five, Mr. Monkey. And then our very last challenge one. This one's super challenging. I don't even know if I can do it. We're gonna try to go backwards. We're gonna face, I'm gonna start at this side so you guys can see me. We're gonna try and take big steps backwards. Ooh. Try to feel for where that animal, oh, there he is. Try to use your foot to feel behind you so you know when you're coming up on an animal. So you know when to do your big steps. Just how, like you feel for the end of the balance beam when you go backwards on the balance beam. Same thing. Let me check my lips, make sure we got everything. I think we did, guys. That's all of my ideas for how to help you practice your balancing and your beam skills at home. But remember, if you think of other fun ideas, feel free to take a video and send it to us so we can all work out together. Put apart. All right, have a great day, you guys. Bye.